So there are wells scattered all over Resident Evil Village that have treasures, ammo, secret areas in them, but when you go up to them you get served with a rather unhelpful, this needs some kind of other item. So what is this mysterious other item? Well, obviously it's a well wheel crank, but the game doesn't tell you that or that you get it later in the game, so there's no point worrying about it. So it's understandable that players have been trying to shove all manner of other objects into the mechanism to see if it's this mysterious other item. So in order to get the well wheel crank, you'll need to have to wait until you have the iron insignia key from Castle Dimitrisk. Once you get back from the castle, you will be sent to the house with the red chimney. On your way there, you'll have to open the locked gate with the iron insignia key and then climb a ladder. But before you go up, go inside the house until you can go no further and you'll see the wheel well on the wooden barrel in front of you. Don't worry if you've missed it though, you can come back to this area later on. Once you have it, you can use it to raise all the buckets in the wells, yay! Now we can access all the wells across the village, so let's go a plundering. So well number one is on the east side of the Maiden of War Square. You'll likely notice it on your first arrival in the village and this is probably one that's been annoying you the most, asking for that other item. After you receive the wheel well, you can use it to dig up an animal head, which is one half of a combinable treasure that you can put together to sell to the Duke for lots of lay. Well number two, if you walk from the Maiden of War Square to the church, after going through the gate, go to your left. Using the wheel well will get you the necklace with two holes, which is part of a combinable treasure. So remember meeting the scared father and daughter on your way to Louisa's house? Well, there's a well behind this shack. Climb through the window in the back to get there. You can easily get back to this place at a later point in the game. Just watch out for any remaining lichens in the fallow plot on the way there. This well gives you three pipe bombs. Well number four, go to the West Old Town. You can pass through the big house at the edge of the town or walk around. This well rewards you with a lockpick. Well number five, so after leaving the castle, you will see a small wooden house on your right. Go through the window at the back to find the well. You can't open it the first time you're there, so come back later after collecting the well wheel by taking the boat from the Lone Road, which you can access once you have the crank from Moreau's Reservoir. So you're probably gonna have to wait until you've done Moreau to do this bit. This well is a little bit different. Instead of just giving you an item, the well wheel will bring up a ladder. You need to go down to get your loot. When you arrive at the bottom of the well, go up to the platforms and push the buttons on the device until they're all green. Push down every cart that's in your way and drop down the hole. Open the chest to find the large pigeon blood ruby treasure. Oh, and before you leave, look around to get some bombs and ammo as well. Well number six, this well is located next to the gardener's cottage on the way to House Beneviento. When you arrive at the cottage, go to the left. This well contains Madalena. It's part of a combinable treasure which you can sell to the Duke for lay. Well number seven, go to Moreau's lab after finishing the reservoir section of the story. Then take the long narrow path on the left after passing the second building. Watch out for enemies in this location, especially the big lichen. You will receive three flashbang bullets from this well. If this helped you out, why don't you check out our other Resident Evil Village guides like how to make loads of money early in the game and how to solve the fiendish bell puzzle.